up, pump it, spin, sway, that's good, shake, come on, shake, spin, all right, come on, look, look, you gotta be better than that, if you're gonna be as big as Beaver, you gotta learn these moves, right, when he says down, you gotta get all the way down, I, I know, I know, okay, you're not taping right now, are you? No, 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 so I'll, I'll fix that in post here. Okay. Let me start it. Can we just cut okay. the dancing for a moment? Just film the episode. Let's just start the episode. It's gone. Okay. You can go. Welcome to Noise TV. I'm Dr. Noise. Noise maker number one. And today, we're going to look at the making of I'm with the Band. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the band. So we're going to examine a bit of our single I'm with the Band, the chorus. This section right here. So, now that part right there is interesting for two reasons. One, it's got syncopation, and two, it's based on a cool, baroque period chord progression. Let's go deep and find out how. Noisemaker number one keeps trying to get me to dance. But I think that kids and families want to see my softer side at the shows. Well, we need, you know, we need a little more, we need a little more Bieber on our shows. You know, some of that, baby, 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 oh. I mean, that gets people pumped up and excited. We need that. Oh, hello again. To examine the chord progression from I'm With The Band and where it came from, we have to go back 300 years to a place called Europe, which is right here, or not. A man named Vivaldi, who looked like this, actually that might be Corelli, they're not sure if it's Vivaldi or Corelli, they didn't have YouTube back then, but in any event, this man, Vivaldi, wrote many pieces with a chromatic chord progression, which sounded something like this. Anyway, Vivaldi and all the other Baroque composers with funny gray wigs like to use a chord progression a lot that sounds like this. They use that chord progression almost as much as we in the rock and roll era use this chord progression. So anyway, I'm with the band combines the feel and genre of a contemporary pop rock song with the chord progression of a Baroque composer from 300 years ago. And it sounds something like this. Who's with the band? I'm with the band. And that's it. Now, I didn't consciously think I'm going to write a rock song based on a Baroque chord progression. It just sort of happened that way. And the reason it happened is I listen to a crazy wide range of music. And when you do that, you get inspired by all sorts of cool different things and come up with, frankly, rather strange combinations. And I like that. He's always talking about how people want dancing, like Bieber, dancing, action, excitement, energy, at the shows, and I'm just thinking that kids, what kids want, really want, is for me to tone it down. They want a quiet space. Uh, so I've been talking to Dr. Mills about his ideas with Baroque music and modern pop music, and, you know, I think the combination is really exciting, but, you know, sometimes I think Dr. Mills takes it a little too far. Anyway, I'm with the band gets its unique sound by combining the feel and genre of a modern day pop rock song 
With a chord progression that was commonplace 300 years ago, but is hardly ever used now. You know, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I've been really getting into Baroque music, and I've been thinking, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring Baroque music back, and I'm going to bring it back to the kids. So anyway, just to show you how similar my chord progression from I'm With The Band is to a Vivaldi concerto, I'm going to sing the melody from the chorus of I'm With The Band over a Vivaldi concerto. Here we go. So it changes at the end just a little bit, but up until that point, it's exactly the same. I ripped off Vivaldi. Don't tell him. The second thing that brings a lot of energy and excitement to this chorus is a thing called syncopation. Not stinkopation. That's something different that Gus does a lot of. Syncopation is when you emphasize the offbeats. So if these are the beats, syncopation goes. You notice when I sung the uh uh uhs, I was not on the beat. If I did the melody of I'm with the band without syncopation, it would sound like this. how we did it on the recording, and there's a lot more energy in it. You can hear me sing the melody parts off the beat of the piano. And that makes it much more exciting. You know, in 2011, let's face it, it's Bieber's world, and we just live in it. And we need to spice up the shows a little bit. We need some more dancing, you know, like that, that heart, I mean, that stuff's killer, right? That gets, that gets people going. And uh, I just don't think Dr. Noyce gets it. I have this idea for a children's piece. It's, it's a 37 minute long instrumental ballad for piano with a single word in the 37th minute to end it. So anyways, that's that. Should we hear the final yeah, results? Yeah, talking about this 37 minute instrumental baroque ballad nobody wants to hear that right nobody nobody needs that Kids are gonna love that. If they do not understand. 